I walk into a brothel with a honeycomb and a jackass. And the prostitute says, I'll take the jackass, please. Hmm. It's a pretty lame joke. So long, Tyrion Lannister. That's right, I'm going to assassinate my first character today in this video. Welcome to my subscribers. I am sorry that it's taken so long to get to this stage, but I am going to start bringing out genuine information for Game of Thrones now, okay? But you had to pay close attention to my previous videos, okay? I made the mistake, but then I got on the right track, okay? You need to understand the importance of the coin that I gave you, the metaphoric and the literal, okay? So basically, what is that joke? It is metaphoric and literal, okay? Everybody is taking it as a literal joke, aren't they? Literal meaning for a joke. But they're not looking at it in the way of the coin, are they? It is showing you exactly what you need to be paying attention to with how dialogue is constructed throughout the course of the show, okay? So you find the coins easier, don't you, whenever the dialogue comes around like that, okay? Because one, it makes a literal meaning in the real world and a metaphoric meaning in the show. And then it makes a literal meaning in the show and then a metaphoric meaning on the outside world. So you don't know how they're going to flip that coin, do you? To answer the joke in the show, okay, well, how it works is it explains who the honeycomb is and who the jackass is. Okay, so this is important. Okay, the honeycomb is Tyrion's brother, Jamie Lannister. The jackass is Tyrion. Okay, so if you figured that out, you would realize that the first journey you are taking through, if you are following it just as straight up dialogue you're on the track to get the jackass ending okay so the tale of the jackass so that is what Tyrion is as a character he never shuts up he never listens he never asks questions and he never learns anything he doesn't read and learn anything okay and you can prove that by going to the table at the end. So everyone walks in to that room for a reason. Tyrion is there first. Hand of the King. Badge of Shame. The Jackass. We don't know that though because, well, I know that. But you don't know that because you haven't been paying any close attention to the show, have you? But everybody walks in and they all prove the point of why he's a jackass or why he was a jackass. Bron walks in. Guess what you have to do if you, you know, are a jackass and you're too lazy to do anything on your own. You have to pay the price. So basically, depending on how lazy you are, depends on how big your bill is. Why Bronze there? Why Brienne is there? She always went for what she wanted, regardless of what was in her way. She always earned what she got. Tyrion never did that. So Davos comes in, he always questions the situation, regardless of whether it's right or wrong, or whether what he sees is what he believes he sees or what he doesn't believe. Always asking questions. I can bet you anything, through the whole journey you were watching, Tyrion never asked a question. He always gave his opinion. Okay? And then you have Sam walk in, and then he puts down a book, and then... What does Tyrion do? Asks if there's anything there about him and then flips the page once. Only reads what he wants. So when you think he's book smart, he only reads the books that interest him and the, only reads the parts that interest him like a jackass. So basically, if you got to where you were thinking, oh, Tyrion's awesome and I like Tyrion and I'll why is he so dumb? I don't understand why you have followed the path of a jackass, okay? You are the jackass, okay? But it is the writing, okay? They knew that people were going to come out and go, oh, this writing sucks, because they knew how brilliant it would be and how complicated it would be. And then everyone would be like, it's the writing. <laughs> but no, it's all on you. And they have proven it at the end, okay? 
all of those people that are there prove that there is honeycomb in the show if you're willing to find it okay if you do Bron, so if you follow Bron, you will realize that he is always stuck to the jackass okay he is always doing things for the jackass and then he is always getting what paid more for it so the jackass has to keep increasing what he pays and then until he can't pay it anymore so what does that person have over the jackass power and influence they can demand what they want from the jackass because the jackass can't pay mind blown right there what does you know Brienne have that Tyrion hasn't done you follow Brienne she follows the path of earning stuff on her own Tyrion never did that What does Sir Devos do? Always ask questions. Always questions the situation before opening his mouth with suggestions. What does Tyrion do for the whole course of his journey when you're first watching? States his opinion. What does Sam do? He reads the situation. He reads it all. Make sure he's making the right decision before proceeding. What does Tyrion do? Just believes what he's doing is right. Oh my god. And then there you have four characters for you that you need to follow and ignore what? Ignore what Tyrion the Jackass does. So you follow what they do and you'll find that I'm right. And you'll find that the first question he asks is the question that he gives to Jon Snow before he leaves the interrogation room where he's been held or basically his cell or whatever you call it he asks but what about your sisters and I can probably guess that's the first question that he asks through the entire course of the show and I can give you another one I can go you can watch Daenerys torch King's Landing okay you will find that she is not angry and she is not using the word Dracarys. The dragon just burns down the city because that is Bran taking control of the past. He destroys the jackasses because at the very end, the last person who comes in, guess what Tyrion does that he has never done through the course of the show? Shut up. The teacher comes in and the student shuts up. So basically, I'm in the teacher's chair. You are the student. You take the information I give you and you don't be lazy. You put it back into the show and you will see that everything plays out accordingly. So then you're on the right track with your coin. And that's it. And that is it. You will find that brand influences the whole thing and you'll find out that there are multiple things that are happening okay and then you'll work out how to process it in your mind so your coins are flipping really quickly at the end that is why you need to collect them that's why it's important okay to understand what you're supposed to be doing okay nothing wrong with the writing it's all on you so you've got that badge on you you've earned that jackass badge okay you have earned everything else that comes your way. So you earn the Dumb and Dumber title that I bestow upon you because you talk about stuff before you learn about stuff. Okay? So take the lesson, go back, take those two scenes that I have talked about. You will see that it works. Okay? It's a switch. It goes past, present. Okay? It can go past, present then future they can flip the coins whenever they want but people haven't followed the story okay it starts as a seed it grows into a tree okay but that means what came before that another tree Bran had to act to remove the presence of the Night King the first time that the children of the forest brought into the world that plan went up shit creek because of the influence 
of a jackass. So that's why King's Landing gets burnt at the end, okay? He removes the jackasses as well. They had the chance to go and join the other side, didn't they? They chose to stay with the jackass in charge. So Bran tortures them all. Sometimes in life, you have to remove things, okay? And because Bran had to regrow that conflict battle with the Night King again for 8,000 years all because of a jackass and you're only going to learn that if you stop being one yourself okay so thank you for watching my video more good stuff like this will come out okay start putting up questions okay i'll be happy to answer them but at the end of the day i got the coins so if i give an answer you respect it and you be grateful for it like a silent jackass okay and then you develop so that you find it on your own and then you may find a way of making it work that I couldn't. But until then, I'm right, you're wrong. You're quiet, I'm speaking, okay? You're listening to what I tell you. And that is all. And I will see you in my next video and I hope you enjoy this one. A little bit more info, okay? And that's what we're going to do. More info. But basically, everything else in before will make more sense. The more I bring out, the more everything before makes sense. Just like in the show itself.